This is my first realized architecture. I am a technical college, completed in 1990, designed in 1988. This is the site of Aoyama Technical College. It looks like chaos, but not just disorder. Seeing this site, I always have some questions. What is it? Why is it? And who did it make? These questions are not only for this site, but also for other cities, for nature, and even for the universe. These were questions to the enigma. Beneath the surface enigma, I think some confounding factors and latent causes exist in deep space. So I'm seeking to identify these confounding factors and latent causes hidden under the surface phenomena. To go on this way, I think there are three ways. First way, first track, is to just put enigma versus enigma. Using our imagination, it goes to art and design. The second track, use logic, goes to science. Induction design and algorithmic design is in this way. And the third track, use AI. It is closer to engineering than science. My PBM, Project Beautiful Mind, is on this track. The first track, imagination way, is a black box because we cannot understand our mind. The second track, logic way, is of course white box. And the third way, using AI, is a black box again. So my work, my thought, is the way to find the law of cause hidden beneath the surface phenomena. These are three tracks, some examples, not all. The first track, Enigma versus Enigma, using imagination. For example, this is Jellyfish, 1990, my project. K Museum, a model and realized work. Shin Minamata Station, museum in Kazakhstan. Transparent toilet in New York, awarded a plan in the international competition. Long time ago, 1993. It's a theater without performance, named Corona Space. The space itself is a performer here. And this is a novel titled A Wicked City. It is also generated by the imagination.
and these are my drawings. You can see them in my website, choosing the characters, time, and enlarge each drawing. They are floating in the three-dimensional space. Some examples. The world generated by imagination. And the second track, Getting a Solution by Logic. The first work is Induction Design. Induction Design is inspired by electromagnetic induction in physics. It made of these unit programs, sunlight, street, undulation, energy, wind, and facilities. And then try to make a whole city. It started from this point. For the design, we have many subjects, requirements, condition, criteria, and so on. They are related together. Their relationship is very complex and occur many conflicts. Our brain cannot solve this kind of complex relationship, but algorithms may be possible to treat this situation. Then, if it is possible to write down process inside our brain and turn it to an algorithm, then translate the algorithm to a computer program. We can, we may be able to design with this program. That is core of induction design. Actually, even in design process, our brains use the language part, blocker area and well naked area. It means that the design process in our brain uses some algorithms. It shows the possibility to write down the inside algorithm to outside. So induction design is a non-directive design, different from the traditional design. First one is light and energy. Named Sun God City and the opposite one, Moon Goddess City. Sangot City aims to get enough sunlight and energy for every housing unit, and the Moon Goddess City aims to accept the minimum energy for every unit. They are in opposite side, but the result looks like same. It's interesting. The system of Sangot City is simple. Assume a huge complex of housing units and one unit deep inside of this large cube to get sunlight in some time by a hole. To have enough holes, the inside unit can get enough energy, enough sunlight. The second one is for wind, named Wind God City. For the street, in summer, getting nice breeze, and in winter, protect cold wind. The program generates this kind of road pattern and building layout. Street pattern. To get good street pattern, the definition of a good road is not easy. Here, I selected two criteria 
One is interest, that is for a pedestrian way. And the other is accessibility, to reach the destination quickly for the car traffic. Based on these two criteria, the road pattern generated automatically and evaluated automatically. Here, the wide road, main road, is not decided. It's born in bottom up process, like Elephant Road at Savannah. It's completely different from current city design. Functional layout. First, select the necessary facilities in the city, like house, shops, hospitals, schools, and so on, and then decide the number for each unit, and decide the desirable distance between each unit, and then slow them on the city generated by other program. The results are different for each initial matrix, but in all cases, the required conditions are met. It's a bottom-up design too. Privacy. To avoid this kind of situation, it's better to take a distance for each house unit. But for the elder people, it may be better to see each other in some degree. So the problem solves these two contradictory conditions in a single cluster and find the solution. So here, both of the opposite conditions are fulfilled in a single cluster. The cones indicate the visible area. The needles mean the sight range. In this city, visible and invisible existing cooperatively. Structure dynamics. The KDK program is used to realize this architecture Shin Minamata Mon gate is for structure optimization. Nowadays, so called topology optimization and Generative design is popular, but KDK program is far earlier than them. KDK aiming the structure like a bone, changing the size of each part depending on the stress they receive. More natural structure. These are the programs of induction design. And they are the programs of algorithmic design. The brighter ones were used for the actual architecture to realize them. Execution of induction design and algorithmic design. The web frame in subway station Idabashi. Its world first realized the architecture generated by computer programs serving problems. 2000. It grows according to multiple required conditions underground space. The conditions are separated two. One is hard regression, and the other is soft regression, such as architects demand and so on. WebFrame 2, the revised version of some part of WebFrame, also generated by other program.
This is not the opening ceremony of Beijing Olympic, but Venice Biennale 22 years ago, Fiber Wave 2. This is not algorithmic design, but uses the algorithms in nature. This is AlgoDeck, an international competition of algorithmic design program. It was organized by me. And this is a symposium, AQS, Algorithmic Design Quest, International Symposium. Then the third track. Just put answer by AI in PBM. This is program of flow 20 years ago, the first program that I used AI and realized architecture. It made of two parts, one is neural network and the other is genetic algorithm. The process is simple. First, Designer make some sketches and put scores and then send them to AI. So AI propose some forms. Then the designer send them back with new scores. Repeating this dialogue, finally we can reach the goal, hopefully. This development and the research is supported by IPA the Information Technology Promotion Agency in Japan. Using this program, the world first architecture generated by AI is realized in 2004. It's Tsukuba Express, Kashiwanaha Campus Station. Algorithmic design can solve the describable condition like physical phenomena, sunlight, wind, pattern, relationship, and so on. But there are other type of problems in the world. They are non describable condition, like our emotion, like or dislike. They are not possible to solve by algorithmic design. Maybe AI can treat this kind of field. So PBM studied. This project is a teamwork. This is one example of ongoing PBM. The many forms can be generated by many parameters, but it is difficult to find a good or favorite form by tuning all the parameters with hand, doing it manually, almost impossible. 
PBM combines all the parameters into a single parameter and shows a single line in multi-dimensional space. If the designer cannot find a good form at any point on this line, PBM AI proposes another line. Through the dialogue with PBM, we may be able to find a good form we are not conscious of. PBM shows a single line in n-dimensional space. We hope this way can solve the field of emotion. It may be called as iTech, AI architect. But in this field, there are one, maybe more, problems. The decision tree often becomes this situation, a chaos. The reason that decision tree becomes chaos is simple. In decision tree, we decide right or left, yes or no, on each branch, and going up, going up, going up, and finally reach the last, the best point. But our mind sometimes suddenly jump to another branch with no relationship, and then jump to another branch again. There are no relationship between the branches, so decision tree loses the meaning. I called this phenomenon as monkey jump effect. Monkey jump effects occur in many cases, in many times, in everywhere. So, algorithmic design won't work here and also AI cannot enough to treat this situation. Is it possible to catch the monkey? It's difficult because we are too capricious. In traditional design, we do a lot of study first. Sketches, thinking, talking, modeling and so on, and have some images. Then expect the time of descent of revelation, waiting for coming the angel called inspiration. But when the requirements and conditions are so complex, no angel comes to us. The method of waiting for inspiration does not work. Then, writing down the design process inside of our brain, algorithmic design, induction design comes. But for the non describable condition, algorithmic design cannot work. Then AI came. PBM to treat this field. But even in this field, monkey jump effect occurs. AI is not enough. The first track, inspiration way is a black box. Algorithm way is white box. AI is black box again. The inspiration way, traditional design, maybe come from ancient Greek age by oracle. Just get answer from God. AI may be another oracle because AI doesn't tell us the reason of its answer. Just get the answer from AI. Likewise, it's an oracle. So we may be in AI ancient age, triple A era. It may be called as AI Classicism. We may be in AI classicism age. So, back to the monkey jump problem. Is there any way to solve, to treat the situation? One possibility is XAI. It's explainable AI. XAI is not a white box and black box, but a gray box, but is gray box the next solution or just an another oracle again? We don't know. 
Starting from black box as inspiration, I tried to turn the black box to white box using logic, and back to black box again by PBM AI. These books are the approach to turn black box to white box using logic science. But then reached to black box again. The cycle is rotating. We may be in this circle. Like it. Is it possible to get out from this trap? The gray box may be one solution, but it's not sure we can get out from this trap. We may be trapped in never ending cycle of death and rebirth called samsara. It's not sure that we can get out from this samsara. So in this lecture, I proposed three ways, three tracks against the enigma. One is just put enigma by imagination, the second get solution by logic, and the third put answer by AI. These three tracks are not independent, but closely related and working together. They are not separated. This three-dimensional image shows the relationships of my works on these three tracks. They are related together, connected each other. The connection is not a single type, but changing depending on which part, which character you focus on. The linkage are different. The all the three dimensional space showing the linkage means the journey to search the law of cause hidden beneath the surface phenomena to find the solution to enigma. The journey to find confounding factors is akin to the exploration to find the formulas of the universe like E equal MC squared. The journey seeking for the confounding factors may be linked to a search for the laws of the physics. The quest goes not only to the physical field but also to our hearts and minds. My voyage in search of answer to the enigma will continue. Thanks.